Good morning, everyone. I'm still here tented in the Devil's Backbone Brewery Tent City. Um, we got 19 miles today in Waynesboro. My dad is coming Friday, so today is Thursday. So uh, I've got a hotel booked, and then I'll slack pack tomorrow because he'll be here Friday night. And so that's the plan for that. And as far as we're here, we're kind of moving slow. It's only 19 miles, so. When I get to town, I'll just, you know, I got the hotel booked already, so I may stay here till 11.30 when they open the kitchen again, get some food on the way out, and just have a nice little chill hike into Waynesboro. So, it's another beautiful day, and so excited to see my dad. So We're working on getting a slack pack to Waynesboro so we can stay here for lunch and just knock out 19 miles in like four hours. My breakfast is beef jerky, saltines, and these peanuts that I bombed off the section hiker yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tink? <laughs> I'm still here. So we met that wonderful lady, um, Adrian. She works here, and she offered to slack pack our bags to Waynesboro. And so, uh, of course, we said yes. Um, so. She's gonna bring our bags to the hotel. I already called them. They know that the bag is coming and we're gonna just slack these 19 miles. It is a beautiful day out and the terrain for the trail looks super easy. So it's gonna be like a really chill hike. So I'm excited because after yesterday, we all kind of need a nice little breather because yesterday was hard, but today's gonna be awesome. So that's what's happening. All right, thank you so much, Adrian, for taking our bags. You're welcome. And if you guys are, what, what town is this? Roseland. Roseland, if you're in Roseland, make sure you come to. If you hit up Reed's Gap, come see us at Devil's Backbone. We'll take good care of you. Yep, they love hikers. Yeah. Next step, get a hitch back to trail. <laughs> it's two o'clock. Yeah. We're not gonna get there until it's way dark. But it's a full moon. We wanted a night hike tonight anyway, so. We got a hitch. Yay. <laughs> that was so easy. <laughs> Literally the third car that came by. All right. It is 2.20 and we're finally on trail again. But we made it. So this is pretty cool. That's the mountain we climbed yesterday. That was so hard. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey buddy. He's looking for worms. In the tree. In the tree. Or something. <laughs> Joel, I almost just hit my face in that first fall of the trail. Oh, Frank, that hurt. <sighs> Ow, I'm glad I didn't have my pack loaded because I seriously would have hit my face in that. And that would have been bad. Nice day to do a little trail running. See how fast we can do these 19 miles into town.
Okay, I'm climbing a mountain, so it's story time. Last night I met this girl named Denali. She's really awesome. And we were sharing stories of kind of like our, the hard times on the trail, you know, because everyone's 800 miles into this thing, you know. We've had our fair share of ups and downs. But anyway, she was having a rough week and she stopped at this park bench in this overlook off the Blue Ridge Parkway and hanging from a tree were the cross necklaces that Mountain Dew makes. And they say hope, faith, love. She said she looked up. She saw those swaying in the wind with the view behind her. And it like reminded her that she can do it. And it just brightened her day and she took one of the cross necklaces and she said she's keeping it with her for the rest of the trail. So, man, that's, people like Mountain Dew out there, like do little things like that for hikers. It makes such a huge impact. Like you, you never know when one little thing can turn somebody's day completely around. Them. I'm sorry. How many day hikers? It's on quality of protein, higher leucine content, and lower glycemic carbohydrate intake. Additionally, adding more. These must be the gravestones. Oh wow, there's like stuff written on it. That's crazy. There's dead bodies here. That's the one thing about the AT, like every mile that you walk, somebody probably died there. <laughs> That's just like kind of the reality of it out here. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's, everybody's gotta die someday. It's been a solid couple weeks since I've slack packed and it feels so nice to slack pack today and I'll slack pack tomorrow so I can um, be with my dad in Waynesboro. So I think it's good to do a slack pack every now and then every couple weeks just to give your body a rest because I've been really doing heavy miles and everything feels great, but I think it's good to be kind to my body and um, when the opportunity arises, like the stars all align today and it's basically a free slack pack, so like, why not? <laughs> I've really been enjoying the hike today and getting a little running in and clear my mind so it's it's just been it's been a really good day that's pretty crazy so we're looking at a ski resort here and there's some condos right there that's wild look at this flower it's so pretty. I've never seen one like that. That is cool. All right, I got like a mile left, so I wanna to talk to you guys about how I plan mileage per week. So right now, my goal is like 100 miles per week, and then that gives me about a zero a week. Uh, I like to take at least zero, one zero a week, 
as long as I've been an athlete through playing college basketball, doing CrossFit, I've always taken at least one or two days out of the week to let my body rest. And I know my body and I know I do best if I have a full day of recovery. So looking at mileage, a lot of people, you know, wonder or ask on the channel, you know, do you think you'll make it to Maine? Well, this is how I know. So I have a number of miles left, right? That I have to hike to get to Maine. I have a date in mind, a date range of when I want to summit Katahdin. So I take those number of days, I divide it by the number of miles that I have left. And that gives me my mileage that I have to do per day. And that's not accounting for any zeros. So right now, that mileage is about 14 and a half miles per day every day to get to Maine. Here's the deal with zeros. Lately, for the past week, two weeks, I've been doing anywhere from 18 to 20 miles per day on average, and I had a 25 mile day in there somewhere. So every time that I do a 20 mile day, I'm getting myself ahead of schedule of my mileage. If I did 14 miles every day for a week, 14 times seven, or 98. Okay. If I do five twenties, then I'm doing a hundred miles in five days. So that gives me two days that week to take zeros if my body needs it or if I want it. And I'm still getting to Maine on the same date. And so that's kind of how I look at it and plan zeros. Anyway, enough of me blabbing. I will see you guys in the morning. Thank you for watching. And I don't ever say this at the end of vlogs, but make sure if you like my content to subscribe and hit the bell. It really helps my channel and it'll give you notifications when a new video comes out. It's a red button that says subscribe and all you have to do is click it. That's it. Anyway. All right, y'all. Peace out for real. I made it to Rockfish Gap. So I'm going to get some rest tonight. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good night.